I have been in awe of nature my whole life. From reading John Muir, the Scottish American naturalist and environmental philosopher, to my experiences with my friends in the Great Smoky Mountains as a young woman, cemented my ardor. And my roots are Scottish as well. <laughs> Becoming a food gardener later in life was unexpected and a revelation, and I want to pay that forward. I want to inspire anyone to grow their own food for three big reasons. First, the sheer practicality and necessity, because if you know how to grow your own food and you save your seeds, you will never be without food as long as you have clean water. Even if you don't own your own land, there are many ways to grow your own food, from community gardening to bartering with neighbors who do have ground that could be converted to gardens, to planting in public spaces and container gardening on balconies, and hydroculture, which is growing plants without soil. Many ways exist, you just have to find them. Second, Gardening creates community within families, neighborhoods, and worldwide on the web. This year, I spent a lot of time traveling to meet face-to-face -face gardeners in Phoenix, the Southeast, the UK, the Netherlands, and Germany. Gardening is universally loved, but many young people today have disconnected from their elders who kept gardens. The information has not been passed down. It didn't with me. Both of my grandmothers were deceased long before my innate passion was revealed to me. In 2012, I had an epiphany that set me on this course to learn and be amazed by nature's bounty. The third big reason to grow your own food is the fulfillment you get from experimenting with new plants. Learning itself keeps your mind active and engaged, and seeing how all the pieces fit together in a garden is endlessly fascinating, even when your plants get decimated. Some comments from my recent pepper videos concur. They had losses, but they didn't stop planting. They won't give up. And I think that's half curiosity to see if you can succeed next time, and half determination, because down deep, none of us wants to feel like quitters. The phrase, try, try again, used in American educator Thomas H. Palmer's teacher's manual in 1840, is said to originate from a Scottish king, Robert the Bruce, in the 14th century. Now, having your brassicas covered in aphids and your tomatoes eaten by hornworms and your peppers decimated by a fungal infection, all of which happened to me, may not equate with your troops being surrounded by the English army, but it can be quite discouraging. <laughs> so it's helpful to remember the phrase, inspired by a spider, which refused to stop trying to spin its web when Robert the Bruce was holed up in a cave not knowing what to do, the spider inspired him to lead a series of victories against the English. Maybe it can help me with my peppers. <laughs> in fact, the Late Bloomer Lesson, or LBL, Be Vigilant, is basically the same thing. Coming to you from Los Angeles, I want to wish you a safe holiday season. I hope you have enough good food to eat and share clean water to drink, and fresh air to breathe. I hope you get a chance to kiss the ground and hug a tree and dream big for your next growing season. Thank you so much for your continued support of watching my videos and sharing them to inspire others. See you next time.